Let them now that fear Yahweh say that his mercy endureth forever. Amen. What's up, Israel? Look at you. Bless the Most High. In verse number two, put all praise on high. Kala Yahweh. Barakat Sham Yahweh Shah. Barakat Sham Karashwaka. Rukama. Okay, let's do it. Amen. Salutations. Man and Aman. Verse 6. Yahweh is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Amen. That's the purpose of this, man, because, uh, you know, these heathens, you know, this is the theme, bless the spirit. This is the theme for 2018. Because the Most High is going to smite them harder than they ever seen. Still, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right, man. They want to play games. The Most High is going to continue to smite and smite and smite and smite and smite, man. All right? Yeah, that's right. He ain't gonna let up. He ain't gonna let up. He said, "Spoil with me, babe, in heaven." Okay, that's right. He's gonna be filled with all kinds of uh, blood from kidneys and you know what I'm saying? And flesh, lambs and goats, man. Everything, everything gonna get a little taste of that sword, man. Yeah, that's right, cause he got some great vengeance to exact on the heathen. Yes, right. That's right. And all of them that do wickedly, man, among his people too. Still, see? So, but don't fit a heathen, because they, that's what it's about, man. The gospel is about them being put back into their proper place where they always been, under your feet, Israel. See? So that's why you can't fit them. See, because they place us under your feet, you see? And that's where they belong. Okay, and they go kiss your feet. They go do your toes all day long if that's what the most high desires, you know, for you on that throne that he give you if you so if you so honored and deserving to inherit that according to the election of grace. That's right, you know. So Goma, man, is all over with for you, man. Just just know, you know, and Esau, Edom. And yeah, yeah, that's right. Arabia, all you Arab nation, Arab, Arab nations, and man, all you heathen, man. Every single one of you people, man. You know it's all up in here, man. Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, man. We tell you about, man. Everybody tell you about yourself. Obadiah, Malachi, Messiah. Okay. The Hebrews telling you over and over and over and over and over and over. Your kingdom is done, man. When. Kingdom of David come, Jack. So let's get back into that. Psalm 118. Bless the Holy Spirit for this one for us. Because this here is the theme, man. David the king reigning and reigning. And all the enemies falling and falling and falling. You see what I'm saying? And uh, in the midst of that, you know, he got to have patience, though. He's suffering some things. He's going through some long trials and tribulations. Weariness of mind, heart, and soul. You know what I'm saying? Bloodshed and death and, man, all kinds of stuff, man. Per you know what I'm saying? Some of it he did uh, bring on himself. Some of it he didn't bring on himself. But David was a holy, a righteous man in the sight of the Most High. That's his servant, man. See? And that's who the kingdom is to. His servant, David, forever, okay? All right. That's right. So I'm just saying, we ain't fear these heathens, man. Let them now that fear Yahweh say that his mercy endure forever. All right, look at you. Let Israel now say that his mercy endure forever. I called upon Yahweh in distress. Yah answered me and set me in a large place. That's true, man. The Most High had David all up in high mountains and caves and things, man. You understand what I'm saying? He, he could have killed Saul, man, on more than one occasion, you see? Yeah, that's right. David could have been took Saul out the game, but he, he wouldn't dare put forth his head against the Most High, Yahweh's anointed, man. You know, Saul, uh, he had already, Samuel had already declared to Saul that uh, he was out of there, you know what I'm saying, and that the kingdom was going to David. You see what I'm saying? But David didn't take it into his hands, you see what I'm saying, to execute Saul. You see, David didn't take it to his hands to execute Saul, uh, when Saul was pursuing him, pursuing him, pursuing him, trying to murder him. He was trying to murder David 
at the dinner table. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he, you know, he, every, at the man, he had evil spirits on him because he disobeyed. And that's right. Saul got, he got uh, evil spirits placed on him in place of the of the spirit of the 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 requa, the you know the requa, uh requa kodash you know what i'm saying this you know what i'm saying the set apart spirit you know what i'm saying you know yep requa mind the spirit of truth see kodash you know what i'm saying ruk rukaman see what happened troubling uh, distressing spirits jumped on me, man. Started uh, driving him mad. He wanted to murder David because David represented his replacement as his successor for his own failure. You see, you know, that's right. David, his, David became uh, Saul's successor because of Saul's own failure. What did he fail to do? David succeeded him because he failed to do what? Uh, he failed to annihilate the, the, the first, uh, not the first, the king, and all the all the stuff spoils. Yeah, that's it. he wasn't supposed to keep nothing, but he said he kept some of it so the people could make a sacrifice and give some first fruits or something like that. You know, an oblation or something. But the most high didn't tell the, uh he didn't tell Saul and them to do that. You see what I'm saying? He told them people to annihilate everything living, including all the animals, man. But Saul didn't do that, see. And he let the king live, see. See, he had mercy on that damn heathen. <laughs> you can't, you see what kind of gag we in? <laughs> see what I'm saying, Mr. FBI? You see what kind of gag we in, man? We can't have no mercy on no motherfucking heathens. Hell no, nah, man. We got to acknowledge you motherfuckers with this word of the most high. You see? It's so easy for us because David them did it with the literal sword, man. David would jump on your ass with that sword, boy, cut your ass up so many pieces. Take Goliath, put punch the hole in Goliath's head with a nice smooth stone. Mocked him, <laughs> ran up to him, right? Smashed him in the forehead with the stone, right in the smooth spot where his where his helmet wasn't wasn't protecting him. Okay. Even if he had his helmet on, he probably was so proud against David, he probably pulled his helmet off or something, right? Nevertheless, he got smashed with the stone. He didn't expect it. Sling stone. Father David got him. Blop! Opened his head up. But he didn't run, mock him. Ran up on him. Take, this, take his big old, you know what I'm saying, humongous sword. Uh, you know what I'm saying, this big ass sword. This renowned sword of this damn Goliath. You know what I'm saying? The literal Goliath. Not just the Goliath of a man, but the man Goliath himself. You know what I'm saying? I think this, uh, the boy swore it was like a, 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 a big, 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 big staff on it. You know what I'm saying? You know, just to have as a handle. You see what I'm saying? So that would let you know how big the blade must have been. So that's how it was described. You know what I'm saying? Boy had a big ass piece of wood on it just for the handle of it. So you know how big the blade was on the giant and how strong he must have been. But David took that sword and cut his head off with it, see? That's right. And that was David's sword ever since then. And you know, the story goes on with David's on the run from Saul. Saul was persecuting him. You know what I'm saying? Uh David went uh, to one of the priests in the temple for some food or something and it ended up and asked him if he had a sword. David like, I need a sword, man. And then the priest was like, hey, man, you got the one here that you killed, uh, you took from Goliath. David like, man, this which one would be better than this. You feel me? Bless the most high. So Father David grabbed the sword, out, 
it was sacred, you feel me? They was holding on to it, man. And David needed it one day. I need, I need something. I need some heat. Ran up to the, to the, to the, to who? His servant Aaron right here. What verse is that? Let, let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy and do it forever. David went to the house of Aaron, man. You see what I'm saying? And that's right. Aaron always going to be with his brothers, man. That's right. Let them now, that fear you how they say his mercy do it forever. And you see, remember, this is the father David who wrote this and talking this stuff right here. So you see, he blessing the, that's right, what we talk about, bless the Holy Spirit, man. Amen. That's right. So let's get to it because uh, just like that story where he smashed the Philistine unsuspected him, most high, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he know that you other heathens gonna rise up in pride and blaspheme the armies of the Most High of Yasharal. And he know that his little bitty shepherd boys gonna come out from tend to the flock and tend to your big happy heathen ass, okay? Just like that president in Africa said about Mr. Trump. He said, you know, it sound like we got another Mr. Trump. I mean, it sound like we got another Goliath over there. Mr. Trump, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, he was, he, he was, he was letting you know, like, boy, don't play around. You ain't dealing with no suckers over here. Talk smack over there, boy, you forget. Nigga, we David, you Goliath, you chump. You just look big. We the real badasses, that's right. And that's really what it's about tonight. You chumps just been looking big, but we the real badasses, punk. All right, so don't fuck how many planes and jets you got. Yo, fuck how many bodies you got to put on the scene, the stage, the plays. I did all that, man. It's a beautiful scene. It's a nice fucking thing to be high up. But it's nothing because it's all ours. The Most High gave us all things for an inheritance. Now, you know what I'm saying? Without any, you know, controversy or disputations, you see who was the elect of the people that the Most High sent his son to die for. That's what's going on here, okay? Don't, don't let that be lost on you people. That the Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, from Nazareth, tribe of Judah, the Israelite, you see? So he died for his people, the Hebrews. All of them, Jews, and all the nations of Ephraim who were lost. Yes, that's what I said. He died for the Jews and the nations of Ephraim who were lost. And that's why he called them the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now let's get some scripture on uh, this full gospel picture. All right, from a prophetic standpoint with our father David. All right, yeah, that's right. Yahweh is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me. Yahweh taking my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in princes. All nations can pass me about, but in the name of Yahweh will I destroy them. They can pass me about, yeah, they can pass me about. But in the name of Yahweh, I will destroy them. Con, amen and amen. They could pass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of Yahweh, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me, that I might fall. But Yahweh helped me. Yah is my strength and song, and it's become my salvation. That's 14. Bless the Most High. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. 
The right hand of Yahweh doeth valiantly. The right hand of Yahweh is exalted. The right hand of Yahweh doeth valiantly. Kalah Yah. Oh, praise on high. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of Yah. Kalah Yah. Praise Yah. Yah hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, and I will go unto them. Bless you, Savior. And I will praise Yahweh. Amen. Call all your heart. Barakat the Sham Yahweh. Amen. Barakat the Sham Yahweh Shah. Barakat the Sham. Kodash Waka. Call all your heart. All our false prophet adversaries are deceased he's cast him down he's cast it down to the ground that's right bless the most high this gate of Yahweh into which the righteous shall enter I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation <laughs> that's it that's that's talk about Hamashiach people okay yeah, that's right. That's really that's 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 what's up. Okay, that's what David is talking about. I will praise thee for thou art, thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. You see, that's right. The, Yahweh became his salvation, and so, you know, the Most High promised him a, a everlasting throne, man, through his son. And he gave him that. He saved David. He saved David from physical danger, real life troubles and dangers. All right, he saved him from trouble, man. All right, David trusted in him. Amen. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Bless the most high. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is Yahweh's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Amen. You remember that precept in the New Testament? You know what I'm saying? You know, that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even in the, all the, in the prophets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, in the prophets and in the New Testament. So, I mean, we'll be talking about several places. And never mind. Cause I don't want to get to looking it up. You know what I'm saying? But, again, though, even out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, you know what I'm saying? The Lord hath ordained praise. He's also said, let everything that hath breath give him praise. Let everything in the earth give him praise. You see what I'm saying? So, it's like, you know, Blessed be his name forever. And may we always give him praise, man. But David is his chosen, his elect. And that's what it's about when you're talking about a kingdom of heaven, man. And that's here, that's what we hear by the grace of the Spirit to show and make you respect for show. That's right. Come. And mind and mind. That's right. Bless your name, Yahweh. See, this is Yahweh's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which Yahweh hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Yahweh. O Yahweh, I beseech thee. Sin now prosperity. Amen. That's right. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of Yahweh. We have blessed you out of the house of Yahweh. Allah is Yahweh, which hath showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my Allah, and I will praise thee. Thou art my Allah. I am. I will exalt thee. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good. For his mercy endure it forever. Khan, bless the most high for that, Jack. Amen. Amen, man. Woo, bless him for that, man. Let's go back. Hey, you see how sweet that is? Do you see all the gospel in that? When you know who the gospel message is dedicated to, you can see what's going on here. Man, this is David, man. And the gospel message is a, a message that's always coming through David, man. If you can't understand that, 
then you ain't gonna never understand nothing about these scriptures, man, until you study some more and some more and some more and some more. See what I'm saying? Because there's, there's something going on right here. David is his elect. Okay, so we'll show you that some more. Uh, man. Man, boy. Let's go back. To, uh, let me see. He showed great mercy to a servant, David. Let me see. Matter of fact, no, 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 no. Praise the most high. Go about that. Oh, 29. The Psalm 29. Give unto Yahweh, O ye mighty, give unto Yahweh glory and strength. Give unto Yahweh the glory due unto his name. Worship Yahweh in the beauty of holiness. The voice of Yahweh is upon the waters. The Allah of glory thundereth. Yahweh is upon many waters. The voice of Yahweh is powerful. The voice of Yahweh is full of majesty. The voice of Yahweh breaketh the cedars. Yeah, Yahweh breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. Come back down one. He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of Yahweh divided the flames of fire. The voice of Yahweh shaketh the wilderness. Yahweh shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Yahweh maketh the hinds to calf and discover it. The forest says, and in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. Yahweh sitteth upon the flood. Yea, Yahweh sitteth king forever. Yahweh giveth strength unto his people. Yahweh will bless his people <laughs> with peace. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, bless you, Savior. Bless you forever. I don't know who couldn't, I, just, I don't know who just can't get this stuff, man. I don't know how you ain't going to get this stuff, man. That is always, he said he's going to bless his people with peace. He ain't say no other people, see? Yeah, he ain't say no other people. He said his people. His people with peace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, his people. Not nobody else, man. Not nobody else. Amen. Most High gonna bless his people with peace. Cause all your other people already got your peace. Yeah, you got your peace, man. Yeah, you got it right now, man. So enjoy it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you chumps. You got yours. Your peace is in our affliction. See? See, the last gonna be first in that day. And the first gonna be last. You got you first right now, right? You first right now. What you say is what go, right? Yeah, that's right. So you first. Remember? Nigga in the back. White in the front. Yeah. White first. Black last. Yeah. That, yeah. that sort of shit. White is right. Black is wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, that's what's, that's what's coming for you. That's what's hitting you, getting you, splitting your happy ass, man. All right? So you can play all the hell you want, man. You you picking a petty, you picking a fight, man. You picking this fight, Jack. So, I mean, I don't know how the hell you think you're going to win. Because you ain't picking the, you think you're picking a fight with me. If you, you pick a fight with me, you think you're picking a fight with me, then you're wrong. See? Because you picking a fight against the one whose word and whose name I'm coming in, man. And you can't never win against him. You 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 just you just you know you just uh, stubborn. Okay, you guys are stubborn, man. And that's the same thing with the false prophets and the people in the church. No matter how many times you prove the truth to these people, I mean they still find a way to come up with a lie. Why? Just to be right a lot of the times. 
just to keep the money flowing and going a lot of the times. All right? It's always for some selfish, fleshly, heathenistic purpose. Okay? You know, something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, something that Satan caused them to do, man. You see? Yeah, that's right. Because he's the one who deceived you. That's right. And that's exactly why you went up against the breadth of the earth and capacity camp of the saints about Goma. Gog, you know what I'm saying? All your damn bands, all these heathens with you. That's exactly why you did that. Yeah, that's exactly why you did that, man. Yeah, that's exactly why you did that because Satan deceived your happy ass, man. And you know, you know the rest. As Sergeant Ryan, remember? He know the rest. Yeah, Sergeant Ryan, his happy ass to tell you about it. If he's, if, he's, if he's still alive, yeah, he probably alive. The most high got your ass living for an example, Sergeant Ryan. Proud ass, lying ass, motherfucking cocksucking healing. You son of a bitch. You faggot. Yeah, fuck you, man. You's a punk. You chump. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. You see that? You see how much respect we got for your happy ass, you little fucking healing? You think I'm supposed to kiss your motherfucking ass, you chump, to get my goddamn property when that's supposed to be your goddamn job, you stupid son of a bitch? You was a stupid motherfucker, Ryan. Gotta kiss your ass to get my motherfucking property when it's you guys' job. Like, oh, the ass kissers get first over here. No, fuck you, you chump. Motherfucker. The, the motherfucker who come up there with his goddamn uh, property release form, okay? Uh, it's, uh, uh, not that, you know, with his damn property form, okay? Sign, uh, and your happy ass no. That the damn sergeant, the sergeant who's in charge of the case, ain't never there. He got promoted. All right? You big shot, since you always want to be on the fucking front scene. You want to be a, uh, a man, you know, there's no sense of trying to talk sense to you, Ryan. So the hell with you, man. You fucking lying piece of shit. Just like you said, you get paid to lie. So why are we wasting our time trying to chastise Ryan crazy ass again? Most high gonna fuck around, burn something else up, fuck with, fuck with us and Ryan, all right? Yeah, hey, Ryan, you know how that shit go. Sonoma, that's right. Ryan County and all them motherfucking hundreds and thousands and thousands of acres. L.A., yeah, 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 yeah. Because you thought I was telling some poor black guy story. Nah, motherfucker, I'm telling you the kingdom of David, the son of David, the Hebrew story, you little son of a bitch. Yeah, that's right, where well, you gonna bow down to my motherfucking feet and I'm gonna kick out your goddamn teeth, you son of a bitch, okay? You little punk, you little, like you did my ancestors, you little faggot, because they didn't want to eat. They would, they'd rather die than to be a goddamn slave, so you kicked the goddamn teeth out their mouth and you poured the food down their goddamn throat, okay? So fuck you, you little son of a bitch. Fuck you, faggots. It's a wrath and a fiery judgment gonna burn to the Lord's hell on you, you son of a bitch. Goddamn son of a bitch is still trying to kill us. You're poisoning our goddamn children with vaccines. We gonna get you. We got you. You done, Babel. We got your happy ass, you son of a bitch. The flame's lit, man. You're going down. That's right. That's the sound of the most high. Winding down your motherfucking clock, son of a bitch. Give me, give me one more before I go. Again, David the elect. Then will I cast away the seed of David, Jacob and David my servant, if what? 
if the heaven and the and if the heavens don't have the ordinances of the day and the night and they proper seasons. All right. As long as there's a day and night, man, the people with the most high is going to be rulers. And what what elect this is to showing you David's the elect. See, seed of Jacob. Then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David, my servant. See, 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 see. You got to see the, you got to notice the distinction. You got to notice the significance of David being his servant. So that who? Speaking of David still. So that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see? So it's David's seed that rules over the whole world the world the world of all the seed of abraham isaac and jacob you see that world right there yeah that's right many 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 nations okay why then he said out for i will cause their captivity to return and have mercy upon them so this is this is coincidental with Aubrey. This is coincidental. Uh, so judgment, judgment, rulership, kingdom, kingdom. All right, the reign, kingdom of heaven, reign with our reign and everlasting inheritance with the Messiah. It's it's it coincides with it's co coincidental with us getting out of. Captivity and slavery. It's a byproduct. See? That's right. So, that's what it's all about, man. That's what salvation is. It's to us. See? Not just the Jews. But also, the nations of Ephraim. Yeah, that's right. The nations. And that was really Greeks. That wasn't even talking about nations. That was just Greeks. That was Hellenes. See what I'm saying? And we all Hellenes now. Ain't none of us really Jews no more. We, them heathens got all of us Hellenes. Damn near. You see what I'm saying? Uh, to, I mean, yeah. But we ain't Hellenes. Why? Because we don't serve these damn heathen as Roman gods no more, man. Like most of us did. Few, very few people was born into knowing uh, with parents having the truth over them. You feel me? I, not in these days. The Most High said Israel was blind in part, man. And we was blind in part, but we woke now, man. So that's the point. Oh, let's get some, nah, 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 We gotta get nah, let, let, Before we go, let you know for sure. Oh, let you know for sure. You see? And, and I was dealing with it. The blasphemy, man. Y'all know that blasphemy? They didn't want us to be no people before. All right. That's right. All right. Let's get some of this good old fury. Oh, I don't need to change books. I just need to change chapters. That's right. Get down here. Boy. Again, it's talking about Israel. Oh, look at this. This this is this dealing with that same redemption where you just saw earlier where he said, and later rather it just went back a few chapters. When he said it's gonna cause their captivity to return. So see, they they children gonna be multiplied. Their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. You see, he gonna punish all you people that oppress us, man. That's punishment for your ass from the most high, man. That's why we smack the shit out of Germany so so hard. See? Most high punish your ass for oppressing us, Mr. Trump. Boy, he smacked the shit out you. Boy, he slapped the taste out your motherfucking mama's mouth. Okay? That's what he just did. Germany is your mother. She in a shithole country where the most high just slapped the taste out your motherfucking mama's mouth, uh, Trump. Now, how, how you like that? See, we mocking your happy ass. 
and hurt that bad your motherfucking ass, you sucker. You see how that goes? Yeah, Most High is glorious in His judgment. That's in His majesty, majestic in His ways, man. And their noble shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. I will cause him to draw near. He shall approach unto me. For who is this that engaged his heart to approach unto me, saith Yahweh? And ye shall be my people, and I will be your Allah. And then he was talking about the Messiah. Right there, we just said, and their governor uh, shall proceed from the midst of themselves. Yeah, he was talking, yep, yep, yep. What he's saying, their nobles uh, uh, shall be of themselves, and their governor, yep, shall proceed from, yep, from the midst, yep. Messiah, okay. Behold, the whirlwind of you have a good forth with fury. Praise him. <laughs> a continuing whirlwind. Bless you, Yah. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. You better be warned, you damn heathens. You people don't know you guys the wicked. It ain't coincidental, man. We ain't playing with your happy ass. If you, if you think they're just trying to murder us and kill us, it's going to... So man, you think that's not the damn solution? That ain't going to do it for you, Jack. We ain't never going to die. This The seed... Oh, let's show you happy ass that, man. Uh, what's this? Jeremiah 31, 31, 27. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will sow the house of Israel. You see that? The house of Israel and the house of Judah with what? With the seed of man and with, and with the seed of beast. You see that? The most high, is the, he's the seed sower, man. Now, how the hell are you going to stop <laughs> What he sold, man. Well, you damn he this thing. That's the problem with your people, man. You, you, know, you just don't know who the hell you're dealing with. When you see the seed and the trees, you don't see the one who planted the seed and the trees. You don't see the one who caused the seed and the trees to be. You can't see him. You don't understand him and you don't know him. That's the reason why you think it's possible to resist this what you see because that's all you think it's that's all you think it's about you just think it's about what you see but but this is what the most high in heaven sees and this is what's coming for your ass as the, you, another eclipse is going to strike over over over, the, over one of these soon coming nights okay and uh yeah that's right so that uh full that that lunar eclipse that full lunar eclipse or that super blue moon, whatever word term they giving it. All I know is we're going to get the scripture out from the, the Messiah telling you in his word that it was the sign, a part of one of the signs that was going to be seen. A matter of fact, one of the last signs that was going to be seen before it's coming. That's right. We're going to get that out for you. That's right. That's right. Okay. I don't care what the scientists call it. But yeah, man, this is another one of those signs that your end is drawing. Nah, Goma. Okay? And this is another one of them signs, Israel. He said, lift up your heads for your redemption draw. Nah. That's right. So let's go and get up out of here. But see, you can't destroy this work, uh, Gomer and all his bands. Why? Because the Most High did the sowing. So, it, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with seed, with the seed of man and with the seed of beast. So we're going to ha have literal prosperity. You see the seed of beast, okay? And uh, that's heathens for slaves, man. I'm trying to tell you the truth, man. You heathens is the beast, man. All right? And we're going to have you plenty of you for slaves, man. You're going to be our little bitty workers. That's the way this thing is going to go. We just, man, just, man, just imagine how they had it in the good old days, man. The days that Trump actually trying to bring back. Man, just imagine when they had it like that. Well, that's exactly 
what you would be on the receiving end of if your ass was black. <laughs> How about that for a crack of a joke, but a fact and a stroke of the motherfucking scribes pen to tell your ass the judgment for your iniquity and your sin again. Yeah, praise, <laughs> oh praise, oh praise, Yahweh. Bless your holy name. That's right, let's get it. Now, what else he tell these people? And it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them to pluck up and break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict. So will I watch over them to build and to plant, say, Yahweh. That's right. Okay. Bless the most high. So, see, you can't stop it, man. He's going to do the sowing, the planting. It's not going to be rooted up. No, he watched over us for evil. And he, like I said, uh, you know, a few days ago in that stream, man, when we was over there reading in uh, Micah, man, I didn't even want to look at what he said he was going to do to Judah because I'm like... Father, Heavenly Father, you know you put that on us already, man. We don't want to hear nothing else about that. No, 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 no. Messiah said, take heed what you hear. <laughs> That's right, man. Take heed what you listen to, man. I ain't finna just get that sold in me. The prophets ain't gonna hunt me like that. No, man, I'm on the receiving end of some redemption now, Jack. This is Jacob coming back, man. Take his thing, man. It's strong. That's right. The one that he, the most high gave to David and his seed forever and ever and ever, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Amen. Uh, the, what was, what was it? Uh, oh, uh, oh yes. Well, we we just got this already, didn't we? I think we already got that. Did we get this? What's this, 31? Oh yeah, we did get this. Yeah, we got this. Hey, Amen. Was it something else? I don't know, bless the most high, but we know that we got ours coming in and the Gentiles got theirs going out. It's tough for you. Man, it's tough for your ass, Gomer. See, we, we got the covenant. The days are here when the Most High say you make a covenant with us, the house of Israel, and with the house of Judah. That, that That's the new covenant that Jesus dealt with, man. Okay? A new covenant, man. All right? All right. Is there, this, does this describe Ashkenazi Jews in the end of the world? Could, could this fit the Ashkenazi Jews in, if the end of the world was tomorrow? Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith Yahweh, neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet and none shall make them afraid. I don't understand that. I mean, that sounds like something that is, is dealing with a man's redemption. Nobody making you afraid. Well, that mean there's no other kingdom around you to do you no trouble. I mean, they got to be under you if none gonna make you afraid. They are under you, and if they are under you, you are reigning and you are a king, and that is a kingdom, man. For thus saith Yahweh, thy bruise is incurable and thy wound is grievous. Oh, I skipped something, man. I sure did. For I am with thee, saith Yahweh, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee. Yet will I not make a full end of thee. 
but I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. All right, so let me tell you people something. If you people believe the Bible and you believe that the Jews is the Lord's people, then you must believe that you, if you say that uh, the Ashkenazi Jews fulfill prophecy as they were scattered all over the world, because Jenny Kimmy say Jews were scattered all over the world. That Bible fulfills that. You know, guys like him, Jimmy Kim, Gene Kim from BBC, okay, another uh, false prophet out there for the Christians. Okay, well, if you think that, uh, you know, the Jews were scattered, and instead of them coming from Kazaria, you see, they were scattered in America too there, right? These Ashkenazis over here were scattered here too, right? All right, well, guess what, America, for their, thank them, Okay, because the Most High said wherever they were scattered to, that they would get your nation would become crushed for that. So thank the Jews for all this destruction that's happening on your ass instead of thanking me. <laughs> Never that. Never that. We'll take all the credit for this. Okay? Yeah, that's right. Bless the Most High. For, but you see, your chumps are confounded. Either way you go. But whatever lie you try to tell That's right There's no way in the hell That salvation could be for any Christian In any nation who believes If this scripture right here says that The most high Though he says out of his own mouth uh, Though I Let's highlight it real quick Because it's not at the beginning of the verse It's at the second sentence let's, Let me see Yeah there we go Though I make a full end. Uh oh, I still don't got it yet. I gotta grab that. There we go. Alright. Look what the man said to look what he said to Israel, man. So if the Jews was scattered to you, if the if the if, if the Ashkenazi Jews, the Khazari, any kind of Jew, any kind of white skinned Jew, that ain't a Hebrew Jew like me. A real Jew, buddy. Okay, and dazzling. If any of these guys were scattered to your country, this is what's pertaining to you, man. Okay? The Most High said that though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. All right? <laughs> so let me... So if this, this, you believe your Bible, Christians, yo, if you're not a Jew. The Most High said he's going to destroy you because he scattered some Jews amongst you. So it looks like you need to have a conversation with the Most High, man. Because your nation is on the damn chopping block to be destroyed, okay? If you claim that you got Ashkenazi Jews there, even if you say you're supporting them. This scripture didn't say if you heard of them or supported them. It just said scattered. So if they came here for refuge, then they were scattered here. So all the refuge that you, all the Jewish refugees that you led over here, guess what? You're taking a curse on yourself. <laughs> yeah, anything you do, you're taking a curse, taking a curse on yourself. Because all this shit is just make believe that I'm saying I'm mocking you. But you still cursed, even though the damn fake ass Jews were not scattered here. And you did welcome the fake Jews here. Well, yeah, you're cursed for that because that is the truth. And it's a curse for somebody to do something like that for a synagogue of Satan Jew in America. Again, that's precisely who you are. You're the supporter of the Khazar, you're the supporter of the Rothschild, you, 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 you're the slave, man. And of all these damn serpents, and you're the damn taskmaster, the damn Egyptian taskmaster over the Hebrew people. You little fucking chump. Trump, you's a fucking chump. Okay? We everybody know it. If they don't, they should know now because we just slapped the taste out your motherfucking mama's mouth over there in Germany, you faggot. Okay? Yeah, that's right. If 
if you was if if you wasn't born in a shithole country, guess what, motherfucker? You need to look over there and see it now. Okay? And the one that you're reigning over is a shithole country now too. Thanks to you and the damn wicked ass evildoers who beget your happy ass. Though I make a full end of all nations where I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. Alright, see? He won't make a full end of the Hebrew people. But he will make a full end of all you fucking heathens, man. He gonna make a full end of you people. Ain't that, none of you damn, none of you damn people gonna be spared, man. Ain't none of that shit gonna happen for you. <laughs> hey, man. All that shit the false prophets been telling you. Ain't none of that shit gonna happen for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the most high, okay? Hey, none of that shit going to happen for you. None of it, okay? None of that shit gonna happen for you. None of that shit. In, in which they don't even explain any of that to you. They just tell you that you're going to have it. Oh man, damn, you people are done. Babel is falling, man. But the Most High did, he corrected us. He whooped our ass real good, people, didn't he? Man, he whooped us real good. We thank you for it, Father. We love you, man. We'd rather that than that. Man, can you think about getting the ass whooped forever and ever nonstop? That's the judgment for people that don't make it, man. Damn, boy, that's bad. Ooh-wee. Man, oh man, thank you, Messiah, for suffering on that tree, man, for us. Y'all should see the Israel, because that's all uh, that saved our happy asses, too, people. Bless you, Savior. That's on the real spill, man. We love the Messiah. We love the Father. We bless the Spirit of Truth. Glory to you forever. And yeah, man, we mock you, damn heathens, man. Yeah, we mocking your ass, man. Yeah, let's go your stupid ass to sleep, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't ever wake up. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Man, most high gonna get your ass, man. Boy, he got your ass coming, man. He gonna get you. He ain't gonna stop. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all, all that prey upon thee will I give for prey. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith Yahweh, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Amen. Khan. Amen. See? We're going to be built up. Okay. Many, many, many seed, man. Many fold. We ain't going to be few. No, sir. No, sir. Remember? Congregation going to be as a fourth time, man. He going to punish all you damn people that oppress us. All you damn heathens going to get punished. Yahweh Shai did this for us, Israel. Okay? That's right, man. He the one who paid, man, bless him forever. That's right. Mashiach the one who did this for us, Israel. It was him. All right, let's go and get it, get it up out of there. That's right. <laughs> man.
<laughs> the nobles shall be of themselves and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them and I will cause him to draw near and he shall approach unto me for who is this that engaged his heart to approach unto me, saith Yahweh? You see how the Most High be talking? Who's that calling me? Man, don't call him. Man, you better be the right person wasting his ear time like that, man. He's a great king, okay? Who are you people? Who in the hell is that calling him? He ain't going to hear you. But Israel, he going to hear Israel. Why? And ye shall be my people. And I will be your Allah higher, man. You see that? He's talking to you, Israel. Behold, the whirlwind of your having go forth with fury. A continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of Yahweh shall not return until he have done it. And until he have performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it. Khan. Amen. That's right. Praise you, Heavenly Father. Bless you forever. Again. And from ever and ever. We had 10,000 tongues. We couldn't thank you enough. All praise on high. Keep your head up. Yashwala, lift up your head for your redemption, joy. Nah. Bless your name, Yahavashah. You Come, Yahavashah. You Come. Bless your name, Spirit of Truth. Kodashwaka. Aman and Aman.